everyone, Mike here again. Um, I've been wondering quite some time um, how to do this topic. Um, as you may have seen in the description or the headline, um, this is on, all about drum samples and drum sound because um, I'm really happy that most of you guys are doing some compliments about my drum sound. Um, but you keep some of you keep asking me how I achieve this uh, and um, if I may do a video about drum sample technology. Um, and I realized by uh, doing some research over the last few weeks and months um, that there is still some ignorance uh, and wrong information about uh, drum samples in general. This s still si seems to be like uh, um, a myth uh, in some way. Um, people really don't understand what drum sample technology is about. Uh, how you can use them and how um, sample te technology improves your, your drum sound. So uh, I choose a different approach uh, to get this goal, uh, to discuss this topic because um, sample technology um, in general is such a complex topic um, um, and there are a lot of information tutorials and information a video about and reviews about each program out there. Um, so I want dive into this uh, with this video uh, but i hope i will uh, reach my goal uh, and that you uh, will understand what samples are all about and how you can use them and how they improve your sound as musicians in general and as drummers we do care a lot about our sound music is sound and as long as we are not abstracted by something else we spend a lot of time, effort and money to enhance our sound. And hands down, we all probably want to sound something like this. But reality is more likely something like this. So what do you need uh, to have a high quality uh, and pro sounding drums? Well, first of all, of course, uh, a decent drum set, uh, high quality drum heads and tuning skills, a good amount of microphones with good quality for the kit, the overheads and maybe the room, a treated room to record in, knowledge and skills of recording and mixing, or as a best case, a professional recording engineer. It's long lasting, sometimes frustrating and always expensive. And we're not talking about pro equipment. So keep all this in mind when we now go ahead. Here's a process of me searching for the right sound. Okay, so which one may I choose? Uh, okay, I will start with the layer library, I think. Well, it's just a click of a mouse, but what does that really mean? I invite you to accompany me on the journey to find the right sound and to fully understand the quality of drum sample technology nowadays. So I'm here, it's Munich, Germany, but for the early expansion we're gonna travel the long way to the state of New York to one of the most breathtaking recording rooms on the planet. Arriving there, we are welcomed from recording and mixing engineer Mr. Neil Dorfman, a multiple Grammy Award winner and the man behind the sound of Dire Straits, Bruce Springsteen or Paul McCartney, just to name a few. We pick a 9062 Ludwig drum kit, which is set uh, in the so-called Grand Hall of Les Studios. And our recording are captured within the SSL Council. Well, some great sounding, but I need something more rocky. Yeah, I will pick the Rock Warehouse SDX. 
So we're going to leave the Olea Studios and fly over to Vancouver, Canada, uh, where the Rock Warehouse is located, owned by Mr. Brian Adams. This time we're working with Randy Staub, the sound engineer behind one of the most famous drum sounds in music history, Metallica's Black Album. A quick look into the recording room, um, very impressive, uh, within the Rock Warehouse Studios. This time we choose a Gretsch use a custom series drum set. The sound is captured within the Neve Air Council, uh, which is only one out of three ever made in the world. So we're getting somewhere, but I need just uh, some more tight sound. Uh, yeah, I picked the Progressive Foundry expansion pack uh, and let's see. Well, per masters, it sounds good. We're going to leave North America, uh, flying way back to the th south to Australia, uh, where the Sing Sing recording studios are located. We meet Forrester Seville, a recording and mixing engineer and well known for his work with Dead Letter Circus uh, and especially Carnival. We're going into the Neve room uh, and sit behind the Per Masters Maple Extra Kit which we've chosen. And again all the recording is captured through a Neve council. I think we're getting closer, but um, for the last try, I'm gonna pick the evil drums um, and I will pick the pork pie kit, which is called Glamour Flush. So we're heading back to the United States, uh, to California, and we're entering Sound City Studios, um, one of the most famous recording studios of all time, where um, about 25 years ago, um, the sound of a whole generation was born and created. At Sound City we are meeting Joe Baresi, uh, recording, mixing, engineer and producer, uh, who has worked with bands uh, just like Queens of the Stone Age, Bad Religion, New Model Army, The Jesus Lizard, um, just to name a few. We step into the famous Room A of Sound City Studios and sit behind the chosen pork pie drum kit. And of course, the famous and legendary Neve console from Sound City Studios, uh, which was purchased by Dave Grohl after Sound City was closed down. So that's it. I finally found uh, the right sound that I wanted for this tune. Together we flew tens of thousands miles around the world. We were sitting in four of the best sounding studios on the planet. Our drumming was recorded by Grammy award winning engineers. And we played on four sought after drum kits, all tuned by professional drummers for the sound perfection. And all we did was just clicking with our mouse. Of course there is still some mixing to be followed. The drums always have to sit right in the mix. They need some EQ, some compression and stuff like that. But the core sound quality you get is really hard, if not impossible, to reproduce in a home studio. With drum samples you get pro sounding drums that enhances uh, and really speeding up your home studio recording process. You just have to invest a few hundreds of dollars for the software sitting in your basement or bedroom on your e-drum set. In compar comparison to uh, a hundred thousands um, to get the recording process I showcased in this video. Of course there's a flip side of the coin. There are a lot of drummers who hate e-drums. Uh, people dislike your videos um, just by seeing someone slamming uh, mesh heads and, and rubber pads. Well, as technology goes on and on these days, at least for me there's hardly a reason to switch back to acoustic drums again at least when it comes to recording to a song. 
and even thinking of affordable mixing plugins these days where hit records were recorded and mixed inside a bedroom. It's so much easier and way more fun to record music nowadays than it was before. I will try to give a more detailed look on some of the software I use in another episode, uh, where I will try to focus on the pros and cons of each of them. So thanks for watching, happy drumming and see you soon, bye bye.